But we are so thankful when God shows up, when he shows up and he ministers to our heart and our spirit. And sometimes in the midst of worship, we have to press in because we come in with so much baggage and the cares of the day and the family and the crisis and the issues. And so sometimes we have to spend a little longer time in worship just to break through all of the stuff, all of the stuff. We have to plow that ground up, plow it up, because we want our spirits to be open to receive the word of the Lord today. Are you open to receive what God is saying today? overcoming the spirit of Leviathan. That's something that has wrecked lives, that spirit, wrecked churches, wrecked homes, wrecked marriages, wrecked friendships. The Bible talks about the fact that God's people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. We need knowledge. We need to know the word for ourselves. No longer can we just sit and listen to somebody else preach or speak the word. In this day, we have to know it for ourselves for real. And we have to hide the word of God in our heart. Why? So that we will not sin against the Lord. Job 41 speaks about Leviathan. And if you want to take notes, this is going to be quite extensive, but we're going to plow through it. Because it's good. We have to know the enemy and know what's coming against us. Job 30, excuse me, 41 speaks about Leviathan. So does Psalm 104, 25 through 26. Isaiah 27, 1. Psalms 47, excuse me, 74, 13 and 14. So let's look at Job 41, 26 through 32. And here we see Leviathan's strength. And it says, though the sword reaches him, it cannot avail, nor does spear dart or javelin. In other words, he's really strong. He regards iron as straw and bronze as rotten wood. The arrow cannot make him flee. Sling stones become like stubble to him. Darts are regarded as straw. He laughs at the threat of javelins. His undersides are like sharp potsherds. He spreads pointed marks in mire. He makes the deep boil like a pot. He makes the sea like a pot of ointment. He leaves a shining wake behind him. One who would think the deep had white hair. And that's Job 41, 26 through 32. In um, Psalms 104, 25 and 26, it says, This great and wide sea, and this is all talking about Leviathan, and we want to give you some background on that. Psalms 104, 25, and 26 says, This great and wide sea in which the innumerable teeming things, living things, both small and great, there are ships sail about. There is the Leviathan which you have made to play there. So when it talks about the sea, it's talking about literally the sea of humanity or the world. And the serpent-like creature, Leviathan, It talks about the fact how he rides along the sides of ships. And what that means is whenever you're trying to do something for God, the humanity, the enemy is right there, always trying to pull you away. One of the things that Leviathan does is upset ministries. Don't want to see ministries go forth. It will see you laboring in the humanity or ministry and try to upset that thing, try to wreck the life, try to discourage you. Another scripture is Ezekiel 29, 3 and 5. It says, speak and say, thus saith the Lord, behold, I am against you. O Pharaoh, king of Egypt, O great monster who lies in the midst of his rivers, who has said, my river is my own. I have made it for myself. Does that sound familiar? I have made it for myself. See, that spirit of Leviathan will make us try and try and make us think that we did all this by ourselves. We did it. We got this our own. Yeah. This man, I got this. No, we didn't get anything. Right. God. Right. And it goes on to say, but I will put hooks in your jaws and cause the flesh. 
and call, excuse me, cause the fish of your rivers to stick to your scales. I will bring you up out of the midst of your rivers, and all the fish of your rivers will stick to your scales. I will leave you in the wilderness, and you and all the fish of your rivers. You see how the enemy tries to get in there right. and wreak havoc. And you shall fall open as an open field, and you shall not be picked up or gathered. God is the one that picks us up. And I have given you as food to the beasts of the field and the birds of the heaven. The enemy is out to destroy the ministry that God has placed in you. But God will destroy Leviathan. Yes. And it talks about the fact that Leviathan is so strong that even a, 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 a javelin can't destroy him. Some of the strongest weapons that we have can't destroy him. So what is that telling us? It takes God to destroy right. that spirit. Right. And we can rebuke it all day long, but it's going to take the spirit of God to break that thing. Yes. Yes. Because it, that is one of the strongest spirits out there because it's just trying to destroy everything that God is trying to do in our lives and in our ministries. Right. Kind of similar to what um, the Jezebel spirit does right. when it tries to break and destroy right. and all of that. Right. Leviathan does that. Some of the characteristics of a Leviathan spirit are pride. 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 Listen to this. Job 41.34 says, and this is the key scripture, He beholdeth everything that is high. He is king over all the sons of pride. So what does that say? That Leviathan works in this kind of prideful environment. He carries an attitude of support, support, blah, superiority, <laughs> haughtiness, boasting, and arrogance, and tries to draw believers into this negative attitude. So what he'll do is he'll try to get everybody, you know, birds of a feather flock together. So he'll try to get everybody that's puffed up in one grouping. And then ain't nobody else better look at me it's all about me I'm up there I'm in the upper echelon you know what we better stay real low because when we begin to lift ourselves up and be boastful and prideful of the things that God has blessed us with we are in a, a very situous situation to be brought down real quick and then you know God will remove he'll draw back so the enemy walked in pride he got kicked out so if we begin to walk in pride, a little, just a little seed of pride, look at what I did. That was all me. You know what? We can do nothing unless God helps us. It's not about all us, and it's not about what we can do. We can do all things through Christ that strengthens us, but it's going to take him to strengthen us. And the moment we begin to get any inkling of, I did this, we need to check ourselves immediately. Immediately. Because we didn't do it. That's right. We didn't do anything. Yes. It was God that gave us the, a power to do whatever he calls us to do. Pride. The Bible talks about the fact that we shouldn't think of ourselves more highly than we ought to. That's it. Romans 12, 3. But the Leviathan spirit promotes self and self-serving agendas. He get the motive. What is the motive behind what you do. Let's stop and think about that. Why do you do what you do? Why do you do what you do? Why are you connected to the people that you're connected to? What is the real motive? 